Hi everybody, Flat Out Bank Agling. This is part two that I recorded earlier. Uh, giveaway, which is towards the end, and the unboxing of the fishing care package boxes that I received. Continue to watch, enjoy, get involved in the giveaway. Now, these things. By the way, there's going to be a giveaway at the end of this video. Um, should have started off with saying that. So, you want to stay tuned for the rest of this. If people didn't make it in this far, they're going to miss out on the giveaway. But, what we got here is they had, I don't know the term that they used, but it was like uh, large or huge pond hopper box okay they were buy one get one free regular price $35 so you would be getting $70 worth of stuff for $35 this is one of the boxes I got the other ones in here too we'll go through it it's pretty similar though uh, first thing I saw when I opened the box because it kind of didn't fit in the box real well. They kind of bent the package on it. What is this big giant swim bait? Looks kind of like some kind of trout pattern. It's a six inch slow fall. Reaction strike beside it. And it's got one treble on it. One big treble. Okay. There's that. Okay, and in there came these things. Now I think these things are pretty cool. Um, it's a three pack of swim baits from Castic Soft Baits. Giant Jerky J7. And they call it Mad Shad. Uh, at least I, I think these things look pretty neat. There you go. It's a purplish color. It's got little tiny black flakes in it. And I would imagine this is going to have some nice action in the water. I don't know how the heck you hook it, but pretty cool looking. They got another one of those little uh, lipless crankbaits, sinking one. Pretty nice, I think. This is something I'm interested in because I'm going to tell you I've been really getting into these things lately. And uh, that a video I just posted from my first day of using my GoPro Black, uh, I caught a pickerel on a jerk bait. Kind of getting into them more than I used to be. Uh, this one here is caught kind of gold, golden brown with a black top, little red eyes, it's got rattles in it. Now, in the package, apparently the hook was rubbing against the bait. You can see there's a little mark on it, but I really don't think the fish are going to know the difference. All right, this one here. is a backstabber and this bad boy it's got a nice shad pattern let's see got big uh, big ball bearings in it I'll tell you that 
don't rattle much, but. Let's see here. 14 to 18 foot deep diving crankbait. This is a pretty cool looking thing here. Reaction Strike. They're saying it's a salt water series, but I'm going to tell you right now, I think it'll work pretty darn good in uh, fresh water. And especially knowing that it was supposed to be a pond hopper set box, um, I don't know why they would have given me a salt water baits. But anyhow, uh, Split Tail Junior 4 inch. Little swim baits here. Can I open it? You know, you always gotta smell this stuff. Uh, these things are pretty cool. It's a, uh, it looks brown on the video here, but they're actually a really nice green color with uh, gold flakes in it. I would say, in my eyes, this would be like a, um, a baby bass look. But, I could see drop shot in this, shaky head in it. It's too small, I think, for a uh, Texas rig. It's actually got a hollow body in it, so you could probably shoot some, some scent. Got some more burner crawls. They must have been loaded up on these bad boys. Looks like the same color. Old garlic. Got more of the little otters in the uh, the blue and black look, and then we got some stick baits. These are more senko looking. These are definitely bigger than the other ones that I had. But you can see that would be a nice wacky right there. And that's just a uh, green watermelon. I can't tell, but it looks like it has black flakes in it. And this is a black worm, but this looks more like a... Uh, well, it's kind of bouncy for a... What it is, is it's ribbed, but it'd probably be good for a uh, wacky rig too. But this is shorter. This is probably maybe a six inch. It's probably a five. Now there's one thing left in this box. something that I kind of really like. I love fish and soft plastics. It's always been my deal. I've gotten in more into finesse fishing than I did power fishing. This is a bag of soft plastics. I'm going to say maybe it's a pound worth. I'll pull out some of the different looking ones. Little swim bait. It's blue and pink. Pretty neat looking little swim bait. It's kind of shaped like a uh, triangle. I don't know if you can see it. You got your standard beavers. You got a little beaver and a big beaver. This one here has got the crazier legs. Probably be more attracting. This is just your standard beaver. This is smaller and it has black flakes in it. What I think looks pretty cool 
is these uh, little purple looking things here with the flappy legs. Um, had quite a few of those. Got a nice uh, pumpkin. I'm going to say it's a trick worm because it's flat on the bottom. It's got black flakes in it. Right about a five inch. This looks like a gambler swim bait. I would say that that's kind of a smoked color. Look at the size of this lizard. That, my friends, is a big lizard. Pretty cool. Yeah, I got two of those. I don't know what the heck this thing is, but it looks pretty neat. <laughs> Little yellow curly tail type thing. Now, this sounds stupid, but <laughs> this thing would probably catch some fish. curly tail little swim bait kind of green with little orange spots on it Let's see here yellow swim bait with some orange in it man that's a big ass Sanko right there boy and that's got gold red and black flakes in it and it's kind of a dark green on the top, light green on the bottom. And if I had to pick kind of a favorite color, and if you know me from some of the other things I've shown you that I like to use, I like baits like this color. Okay, where it's kind of light green to chartreuse on the bottom and a dark green. Uh, not quite, not quite a watermelon, but it's a dark green on top. It's a greenish brown. That's a pretty cool looking uh, rub, hotel rub. Just some nice little three, two and a half inch baby sankos and white with sulfur flakes. Another one of them big sankos, but this is definitely a big pumpkin. We got a couple of these little blue ones here. Little blue sankos. Well, there's a different looking swim bait. Kind of blue. Ooh, this is good looking. This looks like one of those ones I gave away. Um, I believe Allen Outdoors got the. Um, they said they were salt water in my on my bat package. They're the Bass Assassin. They got the the big silver flakes in them, but it's also like a smoke dark gray, the black. They're pretty cool looking. I like those. Another one of them funky looking things, but green and orange. So, oh, uh, this is going to be my. This is this is something I like. It's a shame I only got one of these. Chartreuse and white, pearl white swim bait. I like those, man. Now that's probably the smallest, idiot's bittiest little lizard I ever saw. Black with a blue tail. Alright, so that's that box. I, I'll tell you, there's one thing, man. This company, for what it's worth, their soft plastics are just unbelievable. They're really nice. Really nice soft plastics.
but in a way of a giveaway. Okay. I am not a huge swim bait guy. Just can't do it. I can't imagine where I would even find fish to handle this stuff. Because I've never seen a fish bigger than four pounds. I know these things would be good for a four pound fish. The amount of four pound fish that are available is ridiculous. I mean, I, there's not that many. So I would be only wasting my time throwing this stuff. What I know, you guys out there could use them. So what we're looking at is you're going to get this, his brother, and his two sisters, and his three cousins. All right. Then. going to get one of these backstabber jobs. I'm going to put it back in the box right there. You're going to get a burner crawl. Uh, you'll get a little otter. And you can get a bag of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Sankos. Now here's what you got to do, because that, that's a lot of stuff, and I'm pretty sure, I mean, I, I don't buy them because I don't, I wouldn't use them, but I'm pretty sure that those swim baits, okay, are pretty expensive at some, you know, when, wherever you can buy them, I don't even know where you can buy them at, but I'm, ex I'm saying that those swim baits are a pretty high price. And I don't want you to do anything crazy. But what I think we should do for this giveaway is obviously you're going to like, comment. I'd like you to share. Hit the notifications. Subscribe. All the standard stuff with an extra twist. Come and follow me on Instagram and or Facebook. You could do both or one or the other. You don't have, you don't have to do both. It would be great if you did both. But when you do that, when you end up following me on Instagram or Facebook, if your name doesn't match your YouTube name please let me know in your comment leave me what name I'm looking for because I've been getting a lot of friend requests on Facebook mainly on Facebook and I don't I, I don't take everybody in I delete some people's requests so I don't want to delete one of your guys requests I rather have you guys follow me than some strangers I don't know okay I feel like I know you guys so I like to keep it with us but you go on there down in your comment below tell me where you followed me at and what your name is and that way I'll know to accept you on either Instagram or Facebook or both all right so that's all we got to do I know this is a long video, but there was a lot of stuff to go through here, okay? And um, I put up two videos from my GoPro, which I'm going to have to take, I'm going to have to work on because my laptop doesn't handle the video playback, so I can't edit my recordings on my laptop. So I'm going to have to edit them on my phone. So now I have to learn a whole new editing process. It's supposed to be the same company, 
that I already have, but I paid for it on my laptop, and it stinks now that I paid for it and I can't use it. But the quality of the video and the sound of the video is unbelievable. Now, on the videos that I posted, I don't. You can't hear me talking. I, I put music over it. And I took the, the, my voice out of it, only because I was having a very bad allergy day, and I was breathing really heavy, and it sounded like I was going to have a heart attack. So, and it, you know, you don't need to hear me breathing. But that's how good the microphones are on the Black Seven, because it was really clear. There was no external mic. It's just what the camera has. And it's really, I mean, it was unbelievable. You could hear every breath I took. <laughs> so, I didn't think that, that would be something you want to hear. But, all right. Let's get this uh, giveaway going. All right. We're going to go for 30 comments. Okay. That's five more than last time. Okay. It's a pretty big giveaway. You know me, I haven't done any real small giveaways. I'm not going to always be able to do these real big ones. But, you know, this is a big one. And I like to see some, uh, you know, good things happen here. Let's get 30 comments. And you have the rules. And it'll be down in the description. Have a good day.